welcome back. We're still working on our WordPress site. And one of the things that we're going to talk about is on a WordPress site, uh, one of the aspects of a WordPress site is that you have categories. By the way, the home page is ugly. We'll fix that in a later tutorial. For now, I want to just deal, we're starting with the simplest and getting more and more complex as we go. So if you click on categories, I have certain categories on here. For example, CSS. I click CSS and right here, now I'm going to change this, but I just this is what I've already done in one of my other classes. I've added uh, the name of the category, uh, link to the post under that category with an excerpt. And so we're going to start building out this category.php. And category.php is, like I said, it's when you add categories to your posts. Um, then if you click, for example, uncategorize, you'll see that I have two different uncategorized posts on here. So how do we create that? Okay, so we're going to build this out from scratch. So I've already created a file called category.php and I'll make sure it's saved. Yeah, it's saved to the right folder. Begins with the PHP tag. And then we're going to do a little comment here. And so in our comment, I'll go ahead and tab this over. So it's category.php. And this is for the post excerpts in a particular category. And it could just be all the post excerpts or the first n, n number of post excerpts particular category. We always start by getting our header. And we'll close the PHP tag. And we'll add some HTML in there. So, uh, oops, we need a class of row. We're going to use bootstrap, so we're going to use column md-8, like so. We don't want to forget to close any of those divs. And inside, we're going to put sidebar, call md-4, just making sure that for bootstrap, that our columns add up to 12 if we want to have sidebars. So this is our get sidebar. Oh wait, we need the PHP tag for this. And then after we close that div, we always want to make sure that we get our footer at the end. Okay. So here's our basic uh, elements that we need. We need to get the header. We're going to go ahead and get the sidebar. We're going to get the footer. And then inside of our content div, what we're going to do is we're going to create the loop. And as you may recall from my earlier uh, post, to get the loop, we're going to do some PHP. So that's if, and then it's have, excuse me, have posts. Then it's while have posts. Do you guys remember the next part of here? What is it? You're too slow. The post. Okay. So if we have posts, as long as we have posts, let's do something with the post. All right. Uh, we should end our if, end our while. We're going to end the while first. That's that while loop. We want to end it. And then we're going to have a little else block here. Notice after the else, we put a colon, just like we had a colon after the if, a colon after the while. OK, we're going to do the same thing for the else. And we're going to post something for if we cannot find that content. Then we're going to end our if, like so. And at this point, we have all the framework we need for our loop. So this will be the loop itself, and this will be if there's no content. 
So I'll put a little con comment here. So you know. Okay. So as I said, we have all the framework. Now, the thing you should understand about WordPress is category.php is known by the WordPress core. It knows what category.php is designed for. It's the page that gets called up if you click a category link. Okay, So when you click it, not only is it going to open up category.php, but it's going to send all the information you need, such as all of our information of our posts, so that we can display them in the loop. But there's also other elements we can get in addition to that. One such one is the actual category title itself. Now, in the category, if you don't know what to put there, uh, you can always look up in the WordPress codex. And so I'm going to show you just some of the links there. I like to go there and remind you that it's all there for you to look at. So on the WordPress codex, I went to look at function reference, and I, I found the category because I knew we were looking for the category. And, and as I looked at it, it turns out that uh, the category will display a link to the category or categories of posts belong to. So that belongs to the single. And so we're going to leave the category alone. So you might be asking, well, why did I go there? Well, if you look at the bottom, you always have related functions. So as I look at the related functions, it turns out there's one called single cat title. And if you click on it, take a look what it does. It displays or returns the page title if a category tag is arc is queried and it can be used it can only be used outside the loop basically what you're doing is you're getting the the title of the category so it's single cat title right here if you put anything in the quotation marks that will go before the title and then true is going to be um, whether it um, includes the prefix or not so let me show you how you can use this. I'm just going to copy it right out of here. And on here, uh, before I go into all of this content, before I go into my loop, I'm going to go ahead and title it right here. I'm going to create a header two. And my header two will be single category title. Now, if I put something in here, watch what I can do. Category colon space. So what that's going to do is it's going to insert this text before it actually titles the category. Okay, so that's the single category title. It's outside of our loop. Okay, and what it will do is we'll output it. So let's go ahead and test this out and see if we can at least display the category. So I want you to save your changes and I want you to post it onto your WordPress child theme site and see if you can have it display. So here is my WordPress site in its location, teacher WordPress sample period three. Okay, and what we want to do is find a category. So if you look here, it says posted in Marvel Universe, for example, and I click it, there's my category. Category Marvel Universe. See, category called it inserts it in front. Okay. So that's our first step in category is displaying it. Let me just remind you, it has to go outside of the post. Now, let's talk about what we put inside of the post, and we'll code that out. Okay, so in our loop, each of our excerpts, each of our posts are going to go in an article tag, and we're going to give it a class equals post, because these are posts in a category. I'm going to give it an ID as well. I'm going to put post dash. Now, um, what we want to do is in this, I'm going to go ahead and close that link. Uh, post dash, we're actually going to get the ID of that current post. And we're going to use it in case we want to target it in our CSS. So that's PHP, and it's the underscore ID, capital I, capital D, like so. And most of these functions in here just output a little text that will drop right after. So we'll have a post ID number there. Handy little thing to have. And don't forget to close your article tag. And of course, styling this up with HTML and other things we can do. But for now, we're just going to focus on this. And we're going to do a header for the title. This time, I'm going to make it a header three because we already have a header two up here, which is the category. So this gets a little smaller. 
And in our header three, what we want to do is we want to put the title. Anyone want to guess what PHP tag gets us the title? The title. You guessed it. You knew. Save our changes. Upload it. Test it out. So I just uploaded it, going to my page, clicking OK. Now, notice Marvel Universe, Mighty Thor, Marvel Cinematic Universe Gallery. Scroll down here. Add another one. Uncategorized. I have three that have uncategorized as their category. That's a problem I should fix anyway in WordPress. But for now, I'm dealing with theming. I'm not going to worry about it. So as you see, we're building it out. Things are working. I'm pretty sure we could see each one has a different ID, but we'll test that later when we're done with that. So the next step we want to do is add some content in there. And we don't want to give all of the content. If we wanted all the content, we would use the function called, which is the content, but we want just an excerpt. Anyone want to take a guess what the function call in WordPress is to get the excerpt? Yes, how did you know? It's the excerpt. Now, but the big question is, can you spell the excerpt? Uh-huh, right. All right, I'm going to save our changes. Uh, before we're done, though, let's make the, the title in our header three actually link to the full post. So we're going to use another tag around it. We're going to use the anchor tag, href equals. And we're going to put a placeholder here because I just want to kind of illustrate how I like to code my theming stuff. Okay, so if I'm going to insert a link, I usually start with the pound sign here just as a placeholder, and I make sure I close my hyperlink. And so this little thing here, we want the URL to the, the link. We want the link that's going to take us to the full post. And this one, you may or may not know in PHP. However, I wouldn't expect you to guess this one correctly, but I'll give you a hint. It's a link that's a permanent link. So anyone want to take a guess as to what this function is called? It, really close. The permalink. Exactly. Nice job, James. The permalink. And this will output the URL, the uniform resource locator of our post. Let's try this out and see if it works. I'm going to hit refresh. And now we have our links. If I click it, it goes there. I do have a problem, Houston. I don't have an excerpt. Why don't I have an excerpt? Do I have one for Canvas.js? Hit refresh. There it is. There's my excerpt. So why is it I have an excerpt on some and I don't on others? That's something I don't have a lot of time to go into, but you should at least see some of this happening here. And let's look at a couple other ones just to make sure. Marvel Universe, click Save. So some of them have it, some of them don't. All right. Let's go back to our code here. Um, that's, a, that's a thing we're going to have to deal with in WordPress itself. And I'm getting low on time. So on this video, I'm going to kind of leave you with one more little item here on our post. And what happens if we um, are unable to have anything in the category? We should probably have some output here. So I'm just going to put a header three and put a sorry. There are no posts in this category. This can happen, by the way. I've seen it happen before where maybe there's a link to a category and then that post gets removed and yet the category still exists. Um, and so I'm just going to leave it right here as a header three, save my changes, um, load it up, and we'll test that out too. Okay, so what I did here is I added one of my posts, I unchecked, uncategorized, added a new category. Um, I'm going to save that. Got to make sure you save whatever you do it. So I'm updating it. And then I'm going to all my posts and I'm going to basically trash my hello world that has uncategorized on it. And then once I trash it, I'm going to try to go to that category now. So there should be no uncategorized, but because I didn't hit refresh, it should still show as a category. 
Here it is. We click it. Hit refresh. Uncategorized. Sorry there are no posts in this category. Got it. Okay, so that works. And as you can see, I can recreate deleting and having no categories available and thereby triggering that error in the code. So I will leave you with this code and in my next tutorial, what I will do is we'll go over more functions that are available in WordPress. Take care.